Hi guys, Butterbricks here, coming to you with another video based upon the Summer 2020 LEGO Star Wars sets. Of course, these images have been officially revealed by LEGO. Um, I found these images off a of brick set and from there, uh, yeah, yes, we are allowed to use them. So, yeah, I'll be going in, in depth with the new pictures. But before we get in, um, of course, if you do like the content you see here, please comment, like, subscribe. And, yeah, let's dive straight in. So, the first set here that we have is, of course, the Advent Calendar, uh, releasing for later this year. It, of course, includes two exclusive minifigures, including a exclusive Darth Vader with a somewhat of a Christmas jumper. And then you have Poe Dameron with another Christmas jumper. The belts in this set actually look really cool. You have pod racers, you have the Republic frigate type of thing, as well as a few other belts. Anyway, so the next belt here is, of course, the 501st ATRT. We've already had an awful lot of information here on it, but here is a better image. You, of course, have the three regular 501st troopers, and then you have the uh, jet trooper, as well as two bath droids. The two belts include a 501st ATRT and a 501st Spark Speeder. Um, that will be really retailing for around about £30. Next set here is, of course, Anakin's Jedi Interceptor. Um, I have a few clones with this set, but we'll get into that. Um, of course, the Jedi Interceptor itself looks incredible. Um, it looks probably the best version that we've had yet. Um, the annoying thing is that the Anakin is the exact same, apart from, of course, the head print. Uh, the torso is the exact same as the Moose set, which isn't really accurate, uh, which is a little bit annoying and... Yeah, you'll see that twice in this. Next set here is, of course, the AAT. Um, of course, the AAT itself looks really awesome, sleek. Uh, the head does look a little bit big, as well as the actual turret itself looks a little bit too long. Um, of course, you have your two battle droids there, which pilot the AAT. And then you have your exclusive Ahsoka minifigure and the 322nd trooper there. Um, all, well, the Ahsoka and the Tripper there are exclusive to the set. Next set here is of course the Night Buzzard. You have it is well, it is a really nice sleek build. Um a little bit more smaller than expected, but of course it does look quite nice. Uh, you of course have the colours black, grey, dark grey, etc. Uh, the minifigures include Ray, as well as two Knights of Ren minifigures, which are of course exclusive to this particular set. Next set here is, of course, General Grievous' Starfighter. Uh, many figures are just reused, so I probably won't be going over them. But the General Grievous' Starfighter does look really sleek. It's the best version that we've had yet, as you will see with most of these sets. Um, instead of using tan for the colour changes, they use gold, which is a really nice colour in, like, dark grey environment, etc. You, of course, have a place to fit General Grievous. And yeah, that's about it for that. And next one here is, of course, the 8080. We've already had our information based upon it. But I'll just quickly cover it over here. We, of course, have two Snow Troopers, General Veers, two 8080 pilots, and Luke Skywalker. And, of course, the 8080 itself is a really refined model with lots of space for your crew, as well as a place to fit your speeder, which is a really nice feature as well. Next set here, probably my favourite, is the Death Star Final Duel. Um, it does include a couple of new minifigures. Palpatine, obviously, new hood to peace. Nothing new but the Royal Guards as well as the Luke Skywalker. But the Darth Vader, the Darth Vader has exclusive printing on his arms, which is absolutely incredible. Um, the actual set is, of course, similar to the previous version with a couple of updates as well as a few different features, which overall looks really cool. The next set here is, of course, the Razor Crest. Uh, of course, I've probably already been looking over this. Razor Crest belt, really nice. Lots of interior space, which is also really nice. Um, it's also an escape pod, as well as a few exclusive minifigures, including Baby Yoda and Grief Karga, as well as IG-11. 
Uh, the other minifigures are just repeats from previous sets, such as the ATST in the Action Battle Attack and Endor for the Scout Trooper. Next set here is the Resistance Vehicle, that it was uh, Resistance Transport, that was actually from uh, Galaxy's Edge. Uh, the, all these minifigures are exclusive, which is very nice. Not really anything good uh, in terms of character. Well, the characters are amazing, but they are not really significant and then the actual build is really sleek and of course includes an awful lot of interior etc etc but uh, you guys that was it for all of these set images um, of course the overall view of this wave absolutely incredible with some of them um, a bit disappointed in areas especially with the Obi-Wan and Anakin minifigures being repeats from previous versions but apart from that, it's a really good wave. Um, but uh, before we get out here, um, of course, if you do like the content you see here, please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. I'm Infernal Bricks, and peace out.